So I've been a React developer, right, for the longest time. I've done a few talks. I've done plenty of content around React. I've even explained its internals. I'll put a link to some of those up there. But recently, I've been playing with different libraries and tools just to understand the ecosystem so I can better do developer relations work. Um, I've played with Quick. I'll put a link up there. I've played with um, Solid JS and recently spoke um, on a podcast about my experience with it. If you want to know about Solid, I'll put a link up there. So I've been doing all these things, right? But I've been scared of like one library, and that is Vue.js. And I've been scared of Vue.js because it's 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 different. It it reasons about um, a UI library to me at least different than React. Like if you consider Quick and Solid JS and React, like the syntax is very similar by design, so that the skills are transferable. But then you get Vue and Svelte where it's different, um, and and this has scared me until I met. Daniel Rowe at AgentConf. Daniel is one of the maintainers of Nuxt.js, which is like Vue's Next.js. Um, he had so many great things to say. Um, and and I did a live stream with him recently where he just taught me that uh, about it. I'll put the link to the live stream under the like button and up here um, if you want to watch that. It is two hours long, so I don't know. In this video, what we're going to do is break down the things that Daniel said from Vue and Nuxt that really blew my mind and talk through them. Uh, before we do that, one shout out to AgentConf where I met uh, Daniel. It, it is probably one of the best conferences I've ever been to. In fact, it's the best conference many people say. Um, and so if you want to go next year, I'd encourage you attending and also maybe trying to get your company to sponsor because it is worth every freaking dollar. Anyway, um, with that, I want to talk about three things, the top three things that I absolutely loved about Vue.js and really find myself wanting um, in the React ecosystem on the other side of the pond. Let's get into it. Number one is that Vue.js has malleable syntax. Like if I'm used to JSX and I'm coming from React, I can write that. Or if I'm more of a web purist and I start with Vue, I can write that. Like it has support for components with JSX or what is called SFC or single file components with um, multiple blocks of templates, um, styles, and scripts. And, and you know, it's something for everybody. I think there's a trade-off here, right? And the trade-off is there's multiple ways to do the same thing, which is probably great for learning and onboarding, but if you're in a team, this is probably another meeting that you wish you didn't have. So create offices, but I do appreciate the work being done to make it more approachable to a wider community. I think that's phenomenal. Number two, data fetching in Nuxt is ridiculous. It's so powerful and so idiomatic. You just async, await, use fetch, you're good. Like there, it, it will even allow you to like unwrap the promise using their internal primitives. And I think the, the data fetching story in Nux is unparalleled. It is so idiomatic and wonderful to use. Um, absolutely enjoyed that. Now, we did run into some trouble in the live stream, but we were able to figure it out. And Daniel had some great explanations about it. Again, link to the live stream is under the like button, but data fetching in Nux leaves me wishing that Next.js's app directory story would be finished. And that support for you know either client only or server only or hybrid components improves in the React and other ecosystems because I feel like Nuxt has this figured out. Um, number three, last but certainly not least, um, is the dev tools. So Nuxt has ridiculous dev tools, right? We'll show you like a graph of your components and how they connect and compose to each other. It will even, it's a pluggable dev tools interface. You can have like Tailwind CSS show up and show you like all its colors that you've configured according to your configuration in there. Like this level of dev tools gives us so much insight and transparency into a Nuxt.js app that I can imagine works extremely well at scale. It leaves me with a question, Nuxt.js dev tools when? <laughs> you know, it is really that good. Those are the three highlights from the live stream. Um, if you have, if you happen to have two hours, I'd put a link up there and under the like button. Um, give it a watch. Let me know what you think. And also, let me know if you're a view person. What do you think about SFCs versus components? Am I, am I on the money here? Um, if you're a React person afraid of learning view, I'd also get to hear your input um, in the comments or at me on Twitter. But for now, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you very soon in the next one. Peace.